how video grew my letting agency. Today, I'm joined by Toby Martin, who is a big proponent of the use of video in social media. In fact, he does just as many videos, if not more, than me. <laughs> Toby, talk to me about how video has changed your letting agency. Talk to me. It's something that has become an integral part of my business, of my working life. And you're quite right. I don't know if I'm quite as prolific as you, Chris, but barely a day goes by when I don't do something and I think I could turn this into a video. Um, I strongly believe that all agents should be doing this. I've become a bit of an evangelist for, for video work. And um, I think that it's, it's changed my own business. It's changed my own approach to work. Um, I think you like a stat, Chris, <laughs> the stat man. Um, last year, 82% of all internet traffic was video, video streaming, video downloading, video watching. People on the internet are watching video in their droves. It is the main form of media consumed online. It won't go, it won't go anywhere. <laughs> Slash in the pan. Um, but we, we've all got, um, we, we, we know that people research. Yes. And we know that before, Okay, well, you know I'm a, a evangelical about it myself. I don't need to convert but, but, you. You don't need to convert me, definitely not. Um, let's t the first first point I want to talk about it is a lot of people are very fearful of doing videos for what people will think and okay. say about the things like that. Did you have those fears? And if you did, how did you get over them? I did, and I was very, I was right to have those concerns because to begin with, I was terrible. Uh, my first video, my, my tenth video, were really bad. Both in terms of how I recorded them, how I presented myself on them. Um, the only way to get past that is to firstly accept that to begin with, you're not going to be great and not to let that put you off. And then to repeat, repeat and repeat and repeat on a consistent basis, record videos throughout the week and you will get better. It's just a natural progression. Yeah, I always say to people, if I judged you as an estate agent or letting agent on your first ever valuation today, is that a fair? No, it's not. Well, I wouldn't be an agency any longer if no. someone had done that. No, uh, uh, but that, it's very easy to say, but very hard to do. It is. And there's two different ways to do it. I think you're either someone who likes to rip off the Band-Aid or soak it gently. If you rip off the Band-Aid, just start recording video and put it out there because you'll be surprised by the feedback you receive. If you're more of a gently, gently type, then that's fine. Record video, do a daily diary. Just record on your phone what you've done every single day and just keep it to yourself. And in two weeks, three weeks, a month, you'll start to feel confident enough to share that with other people. But either way, do it. Okay, so that's going over the fear. Now, if you don't mind me saying, I find your videos really strange because you're not trying to sell anyone anything. You're not saying, hi, I'm Toby from Residers at the Bath, come and use my letting agency, I'm brilliant. Yeah. You don't talk about yourself, you don't talk about your firm. How the hell are you attracting so many landlords to your agency by not talking, you know, you do Bath's best bits and you do landlord legislation and you do other stuff like that, why? Have you ever shopped at Lush, Chris? Is that the soap place? That's the soap place, yeah. Uh, no, but I, I know people. I, 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 well, let me tell you, the moment you walk into a Lush shop, you've got an employee on your shoulder saying, can I help you at all today? And 90% of us will say, no, I'm fine. I'm just browsing. And that's because we know that that person is trying to sell us something. And so we don't trust them. We want to do it on our own. So if I go on video and my main aim is to sell, then that's not going to build trust with my audience. Mm. The main purpose of my videos is to build trust. And so you do that by... Because people do business with people they trust. People do business with people they trust, exactly. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to do that by educating my audience because I'm giving them something of value and that's knowledge and that knowledge breeds trust. So no, I, I don't think that you should be selling on your videos at all. I don't, I don't even mention my agency on my videos. I don't need to because they're posted on my agency's website. So if they're watching the video, they're going to be able to find the agency. But I try to come across as um, amicable, as relatable and trustworthy and someone who knows what they're talking about. So you talk about landlord legislation. Bath, Bath's Best Bits, what's it? Bath's Best Bits is something that I've roped in um, the rest of the office with. 
because I'm trying to get the rest of the team into video. I really believe that a company with a culture of video throughout is going to succeed at the that's, point. Has that been tricky to do? Because Yes, it has been. A lot of people are very resistant to it and I'm still not quite confident enough to force someone on the screen who doesn't want to be. How many of your colleagues go on video now, apart from you? One other. Okay. What, but it's a start. But he's great and he does these bar specifics, which is just going around town. We live in a beautiful city. Fortunately, there's not a lack of things to talk about in Bath, but I'm sure that's the case in any town or city across the UK. So he just visits our favorite parts of Bath and shares what he knows about them. And we share those on the company account and it, we can show that we know what we're talking about locally. And you genuinely believe that that has brought you business in? I genuinely believe it's brought us business in because it's making us more familiar. We share it on the community Facebook uh, groups. Um, so it's, it's making us more familiar, our brand, uh, but also us as people. Because So you've got the company branding and personal branding. Exactly, yeah. Because people uh, are far more likely to trust people than brands. Uh, we're all wary of brands because, again, we know that they're trying to sell us something. Um, Another big issue of people doing video is, is that it's, one is starting, but the other one is is that um, they do it for three or four months and there's no business that comes in and you think, so is it worth me doing this? Did yeah. you, do you get that? Yeah, absolutely. It's a long game. And, but I, I, having now gone through that and seen the rewards the other side, okay. I see it as, it's like you're sowing seeds. When you sow a seed, you don't expect it to jump to bloom immediately you come back later in the year and it's grown into a plant or a flower or whatever it's just the same with video okay. another hurdle have you met this where you almost get too busy so you end up not having enough time to do the video yes i used to and it's just really about so you've been through that one i've been through that one and it's one of the things that when you're busy you can scrub it off your list because it's not essential. No one's going to jump up and down because you haven't recorded a video that day. But once you stop, you can really get out of the habit of it. And it is a habit. So you have to stick to your routine and you have to have time set aside that is just just for videoing. Stick to it. What about when people blow smoke up your backside because they see you and they, they kind of see you all the time and you almost become a mini celebrity? Um, and you start to believe the BS that people, have you, have you had any of that? A little bit, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you do get compliments with video. You do get compliments because not everyone does video. Very few people do. So when you put yourself out there, you do get people coming back to you and saying, loved your video, and on a certain level, that's nice. You can get carried away with it. Have you got carried away with it? Probably. Um, How do you deal with that? Again, you have to, it's just like setting aside time. You have to be regimented about the videos you're doing, the subject matter you're doing, and keeping it basic, not trying to get carried away with the popularity, the clicks, the likes. Make sure the content is valuable to your audience. Don't go chasing likes by making them, you know, yeah. catchy or too humorous, whatever. I certainly, I, I've got my wife to thank that um, if she'll, you know, there's a difference between confidence and cockiness and, yeah. and, and Steena, if you're what that's, that's Toby's wife. Um, it's a fine line, you know. You, sh you shouldn't snuff out a, 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 a light because he's, you know, confident. But whenever you step the mark, that's yeah. I've seen that. So yeah. be aware of that one. I think I'm fortunate in that I'm somebody who is terrified of being perceived as arrogant. So I come to it from the other end of things. So that's a good, probably a good place. It is, but I think you have to be conscious of not coming across as too cocky because again, that really turns people off. So you've got to be quite restrained in how you present yourself. I think the magic thing is, and get this, I learned this from Gary Vaynerchuk, was is um, if you don't put, if you put good feedback on a good feedback, you know, nice comments, all that on a pedestal. Yeah. The problem is, is that when someone gives you bad feedback, it also goes on the pedestal and it screws your head up. Absolutely. As you know, I love dealing with trolls and I don't take it personally. Uh, and it's also the, the same comes from um, when people pay you compliments. You just say thank you very much and move on and change the subject. Yeah. And I've had trolls on my videos. And again, you ain't made it unless you've got a troll, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need the trolls, but don't feed the trolls. I mean, interact with them, but don't get dragged into arguments. Well, I'll tell you what, in the next video, let's talk about how you deal with trolls on social media. Great idea.